Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're continuing the fall adventures here on the channel. It's cold outside. I'm cold, I've pulled out the boots, I've pulled out the jackets, and so today we're gonna do a little updated current makeup for the fall season. I do have a new little base combination that I've been using and enjoying that I have mentioned in a few videos already, but today I'm gonna show you in full force. Let's acknowledge the Cecilia in the room. I blame this wholeheartedly on the mask. It's like right on the line of where the mask sits. Mask and he's ruining my day. <laughs> Quick little note before we actually zoom in. <laughs> we heard you guys. We saw your comments on the Rare Beauty video and I want you to know we have upgraded the lens. And now we've got the zoom rolling for you guys to see the goodness nice and up close. So hopefully, Hopefully with this new little setup, you will be able to witness all of my pores and zits as you wish. <laughs> okay guys, let's zoom in and get to the makeup. I'm just gonna do a really ridiculous pony. You know what? I ordered Jackie Ina's silk headbands eons ago. I do believe they were having delays with international shipping, but let me tell you when those silk headbands come in, my filming makeup life will be so easy. I don't know why I've never had a headband before, my God. Okay, so let's dive into the base, guys. I'm gonna start off with the Smashbox Primerizer. There's a few hydrating bases that I love. I always have them on rotation. Pulled out the Smashbox Primerizer and it's just like, oh, yeah. One of those products where you put it back on and you're like, why did I ever stop? Not that I ever stop, but it's just, just a, tall, cool drink of water, that one. And that's gonna be my hydration layer. Then I'm gonna take the Vesca Beauty. This is the Sunrise little glow primer. And you know, I do want some sun in my day. <laughs> now that fall has started, I'm already, I'm already weeping over the loss of summer. And I'm just gonna put this on the high points of the face just for some glue. It's such a pretty, pretty little glowy moment. Love it. Now for the foundation, this is a recent discovery of mine. I discovered it when we were in Montreal. I had actually forgotten to pack a foundation. Dan and I went to the drugstore and this was sitting there and I was like, wow, honestly, I haven't seen that. I hadn't seen anyone talk about it. Radiant serum sounds like something that I would love. And like the marketing showed, you know, an older, beautiful woman. It seemed to be targeted for more mature skin, which is kind of what I love. Cause that usually means it's gonna be a lot more like gentle and hydrating as a product in general. So I wanted to try it and I've been loving it, truly. This is the L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation. I have the shade 25. I also had the shade 20. I don't know how it's gonna work today actually. 20 was like a little bit too white. Like there's quite a difference between the two shades and I don't think Shoppers Drug Mart carried all of the shades, but online they did have a pretty great shade range. So if it is not, please do tell me otherwise, but from what I saw, it looked pretty great. And I have used this with my fingers, but it actually has a lot more coverage than you think. And when something has a little bit more coverage, I do like to use a sponge to kind of help blend it into the skin. But honestly, it's so pretty. It has such a nice finish. And yeah, I'd say it's about like medium, medium to full coverage. It's quite buildable, but it just really does look like skin. It's it's great. So I'm just taking the Beauty Blender and blending this in and it's been so weird using the Beauty Blender. Again, it's been so long since I've used a Beauty Blender, but I did receive this on a shoot that I was at. I think because of COVID and whatnot, they're not allowed to reuse their sponges or whatever, which totally makes sense. So the makeup artist gave me the Beauty Blender and I was like, thanks. So yeah, it's been like taking a trip down memory lane, but use whatever makeup sponge you prefer. I'm just gonna blend this in. It just gives the most lovely, glowy finish over the skin and it is so long lasting. Yeah, honestly, it just has the most lovely, truly radiant finish. I'll zoom you guys in here so you can see it a little bit closer. I put on quite a, a light layer. Like when I use the sponge, it definitely blends it out, but just nice coverage. You can still see my skin, but it's just really pretty. I like it a lot. And with the foundation, I'm also using the Age Perfect Concealer. I have two shades in this little guy. I've got 205 and 210, to be honest. I feel like I've been mixing them. I can't really remember at this moment, but I also really love the concealer. This one's 205. I'm gonna put quite a bit on, again, just because I'm using the sponge and that'll remove a lot of the excess moments. We'll try and just tackle Cecilia over here and then just a little extra layer. I've got a lot of weird rashy breakouts. Again, I, I'm completely blaming the mask. There's 
not much I can do about it. I just try to ride the wave until until she calms down. But yeah, the concealer is really beautiful under the eyes. It's got a really nice finish. It's also very radiant feeling on the skin. And yeah, I'm just really enjoying this combo. Even though I'm a little bit lazy when it comes to setting up the sponge, I do prefer it the most with the sponge. And I have been happily using it just like that every day. But again, you can use your hands to blend it out. But yeah, this, this concealer is like really nice. Ugh. I might set with powder later. We'll see how I feel. So that's the base. I just, it's one of my favorite bases I think I've ever used. It's so glowy, it's so hydrating, very, very serum-like. I think it's gonna be great as the weather gets colder and we can continue to hydrate and continue keeping the summer glow going. As for the mask, honestly, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into bronzer now, guys. I'm gonna use the Benefit Hula. I'm probably also gonna use the NARS Laguna. We'll do a little mixing combination of the two, see how it goes. Um, this is the Refer 05 brush. We've mentioned it before, I'll mention it again. Loving it for bronzer. Um, when it comes to bronzer and the mask, they really, they really don't complement each other well at all. I've just been having like the worst little lines of makeup. And I've been getting a lot of like DMs and questions from you guys asking about makeup for masks. And honestly, like the mask is gonna F up the makeup no matter what. Like I, I have had lines in my bronzer and I'm not actively doing anything to try and prevent that, if that makes sense. I'm like, whatever, if I'm gonna wear makeup, I'm gonna try and be as careful with like keeping the mask as loose on the bronzer as I can. Because if you don't want the mask to disturb your makeup, I just wouldn't wear makeup at all, honestly. You know, if you're wearing a mask, if you're having to wear a mask for work and you're not gonna be taking it off, just, just do your makeup nose up, you know? Keep it fresh. Maybe put a hydrating mask on underneath the mask if you want, but yeah, if you have to wear makeup, I would just be sure to pack a concealer and pack your bronzer and be prepared to touch up. I think if you're using cream products, cream contour, cream bronzer, that makes your life a little bit easier when it comes to touching up because it'll be a little bit more emollient and moving around when you're setting the products in with powder that's where you're gonna have a hard time rejigging it if you do have a little line happening. So yeah, I've been having a lot of lines <laughs> on my face from the mask life, that's for sure. But that's pretty much my two bits. I, I don't have any mask tips for you. Either just have makeup that you can fix or just don't be wearing makeup underneath the mask at all. And we can all embrace the mask knee patches together. A little combination I've been loving on the eyes. I've been having a rediscovery love moment with the MAC Groundwork Paint Pot. It's the most lovely, lovely shade for my eyeballs. And I've just been putting this all over and it is a creamy little paint pot, but they do set quite nicely. And I just take a little brush and rub that around my eyeball. And then as Jamie Genevieve taught us, I like to go in with a little bit of bronzer at the end just to kind of spread it out and blend it out a little bit more. So I take a little layer of the groundwork, I blend that out and it's kind of just, it, I mean, it essentially looks like my bronzer, but it's just deep enough that it looks like a lovely little layer on my eyes. And I just take that all over and then I'll just take a little layer of my bronzer and set that in over top and just kind of blend that out and make it a little bit more smoky looking, but in a very natural looking way. Okay, let's do the brows. I'm still loving my little Benefit brow micro filling pens. I've been using the darker one. I don't know how I feel. Sometimes I feel like a darker brow, sometimes I feel like nothing at all, and sometimes I just mix the two. So we'll see how we feel today. I'm gonna start with the medium brown and I'm going to draw some lines here. I go between doing this before soap brows and sometimes I'll do it after. Even though I prefer to do it after I apply the soap brows because sometimes when I put the soap brows on it can remove the product. But I do find that this pen works best when it's not going over top of like a slippy product like soap. <laughs> but sometimes I just have to go in and fix it up a little bit because the soap can move it around if it hasn't set in. So I've been fiddling with the brows. We're working on it. Just pressing in the soap brows, getting it all nice and soapy. Let's go back. Let's go back to the face and finish it up. I gave it a moment to just sit and chill. I'm gonna use the Veska Wish Highlight. Love this little thing so much. It's just the cutest little, little mini package. 
It's so pretty. And I'm gonna just pat that on. I'm gonna pat it and not swipe it like I sometimes do just because we haven't set in the face with powder and I don't want to swipe and move anything around. Put that on the high points, nose, Cupid's bow. And let's put that on the inner corners as well. Cute, we are glowing. Okay, I'm actually gonna skip ahead and just do some liner really quick. I'm gonna use the MAC strip down. This is so broken and disgusting of mine. I've literally, like the cap, <laughs> The cap is busted and cracked and all the words have rubbed off on the package. So for the lips, like there's so many lip balms and lip glosses and lip products that I love. And that's the one thing that I've not even been bothering with for the most part underneath the mask because it just gets wiped off. Like there's been so many instances where I've been so excited. I've done my makeup, like even the new like Tower 28 glosses, I've been like, yeah. And I put it on and then I'm going to leave out the front door and I'm like, so when it comes to the lips, for the most part, I've been leaving them alone, but I will do a lip liner because usually a good lip liner will stay put nicely, but I've been not doing a whole lot on the lips, guys. I am gonna, I'm gonna be annoying because I'm pretty sure this is forever discontinued at this point, but I did tell you the first time I use this that it's gonna be my perfect fall blush shade. And this is the, the Charlotte Tilbury Color of Passion Lip and Cheek Balm, so I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. Maybe there's somewhere you can get your hands on it. If you guys have seen it anywhere, definitely let me know. I'd love to have backups forever, that's for sure, because this is just the most beautiful, beautiful little shade. Woo! <laughs> Let's blend that out real quick. Yeah, I'm just gonna blend that out with my beauty blender. Just re-expose Cecilia here with all of this touching. And then just for an extra little color, I'll just take a little bit on my finger and just pat that in over top of the lip liner. This is pretty light. It's more like a stain when you're putting it on your lips. Just like the perfect light berry shade. It's so nice. Charlotte Tilbury, please God make these permanent. For mascara, I'm still using and loving the Marc Jacobs at Lash. This is probably getting gross by now. Yeah, this is definitely going off. You know when a mascara starts to go off when your eye kind of reacts to the scent of it. Also, it just flaked immediately under my eye. She's going out, wow. <laughs> Today is the day. So I'm putting this on my upper lashes and then guys, you're gonna, you're gonna be shocked at what is next. Guys, I've been doing lower lashes. I've been taking the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash, which I feel like is the classic mascara that so many people have used for years, but I've really just been trying to embrace this little Twiggy-esque lifestyle. And I've been putting this on underneath and really just letting my lower lashes live their life. I've been doing it only for about a week now, but it's been kind of fun. Embracing what my mother has given me. The one thing I will note though, when I am doing the lower lashes, you definitely have to put some powder on. So I'm just gonna set this right underneath my eyes a little bit, just cause when you don't, it'll get all juicy and oily together and that's when you turn into a raccoon. And while we're here, I'm actually just gonna do a little dusting of powder. This is the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush. Flawless filter. Fall, flawless finish. Flawless. <laughs> flawless finish. All right guys, give one little spritz of the Matte Fix Plus. Whatever flavor suits your fancy, you know I'm a coconut gal. We'll take the hair down and let this makeup live its life. Oh, so melted. Oh, so dewy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. See, I could turn that into a mole. I've just tried turning zits into moles before and I've been incredibly unsuccessful. So we'll just let her have her day. All right guys, so this is the finished look. This is my current everyday lineup. This lovely, slightly cooler, more wine shaded makeup for fall. <laughs> Very hydrated, dewy base as the winds get cooler. I am but embracing the weather that is here in Canada. I hope you enjoyed this look. All the products I used on my face will be linked in the description box down below. If you like this video, do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos from me. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you all very soon for a new video. Bye!